Um, okay, thank you. Um, good afternoon, anyone, uh, everyone. Um, thank you for, for this. We are so excited to be hosting Pakistan uh, for the first time. The girls are really excited after almost 20, 22 months uh, without playing any international games. Um, the, mood is, uh, the mood is very good. Um, the girls are excited. We really want to compete. And uh, we hope to um, keep everyone interested in the, in the series. Um, our squad is composed of some few inexperienced players. We've got uh, Kelly Sindlovu, who is 15 years old, very energetic. Um, so we're excited to also have her as part of um, our team. Thank you very much, Mary. Uh, so gentlemen, over to you. It's question time. Yes, Larry, Trusida. Thank you so much. Uh, Mary, my question to you is, uh, yes, yes, it's been uh, two years, and uh, but uh, firstly, how's been life in uh, the bubble? Um, life in the bubble has been different. It's a different experience. I think being in lockdown when you're at home not as as when you are in a bubble. Um, so in a bubble, you have a certain space you have to always be in. You have places you need to go and not go. So the restrictions are quite uh, difficult for starters. But once you get used to it, um, it then makes sense why you, you need to restrict yourself from certain areas. So it has been a different experience, but now we're used after a couple of days. Hello, can you hear me? I don't. Yes, we can. Yes, Tatenda, you can. Is it Tatenda? Sorry. Yeah, it is. Yeah, okay, yeah, please, I have a question. please proceed. All right, uh, thank you for the opportunity. So um, my question now, Mary, and now obviously it's been like, uh, it's been said almost two years. Uh, what's, what has just been, what has got you guys going through that whole time? Because I can imagine, um, you know, there was a series that was canceled, I think the year before, obviously uh, there were issues that were beyond your control then COVID happens, but how have you managed to keep morale and how have you managed to keep the team going amongst this time? Because, you know, especially from last year, you literally couldn't get a lick of cricket and what's been the message and how have you guys? Um, I think from, from the start, when we failed to go for the T20 uh, global qualifiers, um, there's some resilience that, that grew amongst the girls. Um, we had to, to be there for each other and to you know talk about it and how it had affected um and uh, affected us so coming into 2020 when the pandemic hit it was almost like we've been here before it was familiar in terms of we are preparing to go for qualifiers and now we can't go it was almost like it's repeating itself so we had some kind of familiarity with disappointment and unfortunately um so in these two years, we've just really tried to be um, very strong as a team. We always used to check up on each other, how we are doing, um, you know, what, what can we do to make sure we're emotionally and psychologically ready for any game time that's going to come. Um, and to just, you know, encourage each other and motivate each other that, you know, when we get game time, um, it's not every day that these things keep on happening. Um, so at some point things will be okay. So we just kept on communicating and comforting each other and re-strategizing, trying to refocus every now and again. Um, and so I think that has helped us to quickly get back um, on our feet now. Um, I think psychologically the team is in a good space. You're muted, Darlington.
Yeah, darling, we can hear Darlington. Okay, back to you, Tatenda. You have another question. Then we go to Larry Trusida. Okay, thank you. So um, my, my follow-up question now, therefore, um, considering, you know, where you were, um, I think two years ago, uh, on, the, on the cusp of, you know, qualifying for uh, the global stage, what are your uh, immediate goals for this upcoming series? Because obviously it has been a bit of a layoff. Uh, I mean, apart from winning, obviously, because we know you'd want to, at least you do want to win, but what would be sort of the, uh, you know, the short-term or long-term goals that you've got sort of set in place for this? Um, okay, so for when it comes to the long term goal, what we're trying to do is to make sure that um, we are looking at the qualifiers, uh, both the 50 over qualifiers um, that will be held in Sri Lanka in June, July, and then the other set of T20 qualifiers, the regional qualifiers. Um, so with, with that in mind, this series has got three T20s and three ODIs. So what we're trying to do is to make sure that the squad gets a first step uh, towards preparation um, for those qualifiers. So we, of course, are looking to win, to compete, but most of all, we're, we're looking to um, look at our combinations, um, our batters and, and, and our bowlers, try to pitch our competition um, and, and, and to make sure that uh, our opening partnerships, the middle order, our bowlers and our um, both bowlers, um, spin bowlers and pace bowlers, uh, both uh, departments will be working together um, smoothly between the two formats. So mostly it's about combinations and trying to get back our routines and trying to get back um, to psychologically uh, psych ourselves up uh, for those qualifiers. So this is good. Um, kind of makes us have a, a rough idea of where we are um in preparation for those qualifiers so i think we'll have like five six months before um so this will be a good time for us to then make adjustments um after we get results from the series all right uh, next question anyone else Yeah, I'm here. Okay, Trusido, you can proceed. Okay, Miriam, having said all this, uh, with uh, uh, the missed tour and uh, the nearly two years of uh, inactivity, uh, don't you feel like uh, you're sort of uh, going back to zero, you're yeah, restarting, looking at uh, the players who are not available, uh, Anya Sui and uh, Shan, and then also some of uh, your senior players who are also on uh, paternity leave? Um, no, the, the good thing about it is um, when you have a decent pool of players, um, it also gives a chance for all the other players who will be in that pool uh, to be able to almost seamlessly uh, be plan Bs or second options um, if we don't have these, uh, these senior players. So it's, it's I don't I, that we are starting again. Um, it's just a different squad uh, when it comes to those roles that are missing. So just a different dynamic of how then to fine tune new players that are here and fine tune the roles that they will fill uh, for those who are, who are not there. So it's not really a case of starting afresh. It's just a different dynamic, um, a different squad, but still having the same plans, uh, still, have, uh, still having the same team spirit. I believe it will carry us through. All right. Uh, okay, I think Eddie seems to be having challenges with uh, his connection, but uh, I have his question here. Mary, uh, Eddie Chikami of the Herald says, Zimbabwe haven't played internationals in a while. Do you think this handicap in courts could weigh against the team going into the series? Um, I don't think so. I don't think so. I, I said before, not being able to play in the past couple of months um, has been a, a disadvantage, uh, but we have tried to prepare as much as possible. Yes, with the limited time we had, but uh, the domestic series we had last year really helped us. We had eight weeks of cricket. Uh, we had four teams and most of the ladies who made the team, uh, who made the initial 24 
um, we're part of the top uh, performers in that domestic uh, league. So I think that helped with picking form. And so coming into this series is, is almost like starting, um, was just a continuation from the domestic uh, season we had last year. So it's not um, it's not a huge train smash. I'm I'm feeling positive about the squad that's there. Okay, thank you, Mary. Uh, Larry Quirinai. Uh Mary, thanks. Thanks. But uh, well, the, the question I want to ask is more to do with uh, the cricket itself. What sort of brand of cricket uh, do you think uh, Zimbabwe is going to play? Pakistan, a team that you haven't played against before and uh, that you might not know much about in terms of playing them, except perhaps, perhaps having watched them on TV. In fact, did you watch that series in 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 uh, uh, against Pakistan on, on television? And then secondly, uh, what is the role of the yourself and Tasmin and so forth that you're going to have to take uh, given the absence of the other places? I know in an interview recently you talked about the need for leadership with uh, the, the leadership role that you're taking on with the team as the captain. So what role is there going, that you guys are going to have to take in as far as making sure you can usher some of these players who have been on the team and, and are coming back into the team and the one a newbie? Okay, um, I'll try to remember all the questions, but for starters, um, we, I was following and most of my senior players were following uh, the series of Africa and we were just watching how Pakistan was performing. And from there, our ex my personal ex expectation from the team, I don't over expect, um, and I'm not going to put pressure on the players uh, for them to do something that they cannot do. I understand the path we've been um, on. We have not played international cricket in two years. That's one, we are missing a couple of senior players. That's two. And those senior players are uh, filled in very crucial roles in the team. Um, and also um, the amount of time we've had to prepare for the series. So considering all these three factors, um, my expectation is to be able to compete um, and of course win, but also taking into consideration that we have not had um, the best, uh, say for the past 20 months, it has been um, quite okay for us. So we want to compete, we want to win, but we are very much um, cognizant of the fact that uh, we've got these three factors that might be working um, against us. But at the end of the day, we really want to enjoy and we really want to leave everything on the field. And then in terms of some of the players, uh, Tasmin Granger, um, Josephine Como, uh, Nombelo uh, Sibanda, and also Kelis, the youngest players, those are the, uh, some of the players to look out for, they look like in good nick. Um, and um, I, I think uh, they will uh, lead, uh, lift the team um, in most of the games. Yeah. Uh, Donna, I think yeah. All right. Uh, sorry about that. I was muted. Uh, but I was saying this brings us to the end of this press conference. Thank you very much, Mary. And uh, to the gentlemen who joined us, thank you very much. After every match, we are going to have uh, post match press conferences, and uh, they will be via this uh, platform. Uh, once again, thanks very much for joining us. Thank you.